Hello and welcome to another edition of Business Weekly on City TV with me, Pius Amihe Eduku. Coming up in this edition, Diamond Cement to lay off 50% of its staff over its inability to sustain its operations and some bankers caution government against capping interest rates in Ghana. Details of these and other stories coming up in this edition. In our first story, Diamond Cement says it is going to lay off 50% of its staff by the end of this month in order to sustain the company's operations. The company argues that it is currently operating at only 43% of its total strength despite having 1,000 direct and indirect staff strength. This also comes weeks after local cement manufacturers complained bitterly of a decision by the trade ministry to allow a, a Korean company, Fujian, to export 500,000 tons of cement into the country. The general manager for Diamond Cement, Tati Ramarao, tells City Business News the decision has become inevitable as several appeals to the ministry have proved unsuccessful. We now take you to the banking industry where some bankers have cautioned government against any decision to cap interest rates in Ghana as is being done in Kenya. President Mahama early this week announced that his government is yet to consider a decision to cap interest rates in the country, though base rates have increased to an average of about 28% as of September this year. Banking consultant Nana Otuwe Champon warns that any decision to cap interest rates in Ghana will be a disaster. Let's stay with the banking industry because mortgage company Ghana Home Loans has disclosed to City Business News it will commence full operations as a bank in the first quarter of next year. According to the CEO of the company, Dominic Edu, his outfit will still complete some pre-requirements to facilitate a smooth takeoff early next year. By this, Ghana Home Loans joins three others as new universal banks operating in the country. Meanwhile, the company has successfully listed $5 million of, of its $100 million bond on the Ghana fixed income market. The total of $100 million, that is equivalent to 380 million cities, is expected to be listed within a three to five year period. Now, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana will next week, Monday, announce the policy rates for commercial banks operating in the country. The announcement will conclude the MPC's 73rd annual meetings. At the last MPC meeting in September this year, the Monetary Policy Committee kept the policy rate unchanged at 26% for the fourth consecutive time this year. The Ministry of Finance has disclosed to City Business News it will soon present the new payment services regulation to the Attorney General's Department for further scrutiny. The payment services regulation is to replace the electronic money issuers guidelines which currently regulate electronic financial services in the country. Nicholas Jabba of the Financial Sector Division of the Ministry of Finance also tells City Business News the new law will, among others, regulate operations of agency bankers and the issuing of e-transaction cards. Let's now turn attention to the power sector and information available to City Business News indicates that the Millennium Development Authority, that is MIDA, may soon come out with a date to commence its bidders conference for the private sector participation of the Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG. This follows the dismissal of an interlocutory injunction case filed against the government on its plans to cede part of the operations of ECG to a private company. According to the ruling delivered by Justice Norbert Ayene, the plaintiff that is Saka Salia lacked capacity to bring the suit to court as he failed to show how the privatization will affect him personally. We end on an interesting note because City FM has been adjudged the best radio station for promoting tourism in the Maiden Travel Jumia Awards held in Accra. Now, the award, which is aimed at recognizing hotels and media houses that promote tourism, was also targeted at improving customer care to attract more tourists into the country. And that is it for this week's edition of Business Weekly on City TV. For more of these stories, log on to citybusinessnews.com. My name is Pius Amihe. And you could join us next week.